the Space Cossacks from Games Workshop and from Anvil Industries. Who wore it better? Then Oli will fake his progress. Tom will showcase the color scheme for his gene stealer cult. Josef will do a mystery unboxing. The Tale of Four Warlords, Episode 2. Coming up next on Brothers in Dice. Hello, Martin. Hello, Jojo. How was your week? Oh, it was pretty rough. Okay, I see that you have managed to paint five of five of your Vostran firstborn. Six. Six? Oh, right. Two, four, six, actually. Okay, so you have five regular guardsmen? I started with uh, Astropath from okay. Elite Slot. Okay. And then I uh, continued with uh, Company Commander. Uh -huh. And now I am uh, in progress of painting Infantry Squad. I paint already Sergeant, Voxcaster guy and two uh, normal uh, guardsmen. Mm -hmm. And uh, I must paint a special weapon guy, heavy weapon team and three regular guys. How many uh, guys in total will you have in your army? Uh, I would like to play six full squads, so 60. 60? 60, 60 wow. uh, infantry. Okay, so you have you have a long way to go still. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> Many and, long nights. <laughs> and do you have 60 of them? Yes. They were only available uh, for purchase for a brief period. They are already of the store, right? Yes. So it will be quite difficult for you to extend your army in the future. Yes, but I found on Anvil Industries okay. they have uh, some great bits. Mm. I already yeah. built Vostran Sergeant from their kits All and right. I think this is really good. Okay, this guy looks very much like uh, the original um, Vostrans from the Games Workshop. And I really like this grenade guy. No, oh, how many of them do you have? I have uh, built 20 of them. Oh wow, okay. Perfect, so your army grows nicely. Are these two the only that uh, you have painted? Uh, no, 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 I painted uh, Bring three them more. In. Three more. Okay. And uh, these. The, these, these, and these what violets, about the. Uh, so the bodies, where do the bodies come from? Bodies are from Anvil Industries too. Ah, On, only, oh, okay. only part of miniatures, uh, which isn't from Anvil, are bayonets and mm -hmm. purity seals. And the last guns also come from Anvil Industries. Uh, yes, they call they call them a phase rifle. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's come in uh, closer so that we can see the detail on the miniatures. <laughs> I have I have previously looked at the astropath. Yes, he is psyker, okay. and uh, when he is casting smite, he only use one dice, okay. so he never peril. Okay, good, very well. We will call him Jerry. We already agreed on that. Okay. So that's Jerry, and let's uh, yeah, let's uh, compare these um, Anvil Industries um, Vostrians with the uh, regular Games Workshop Vostrians. I like uh, if if I was playing you, I I couldn't uh, tell the difference. What about the, uh, I see that you went for the snow bases. Uh, how, did you, how did you make the snow on the bases? It's pretty simple. Uh -huh. I only uh, use Valhalla and Blizzard from Game Workshop paint. It's texture paint. Oh, it is a texture. Okay, I thought. Okay, so my first thought was that this is a uh, baking soda. That's what, <laughs> that's what we used back in the, uh, back in the day. But this is a Games Workshop product, right? It looks, it looks pretty good. Okay, cool. So what are the next steps? 
I already ordered uh, two lemon rasses demolisher versions. Okay. So I would like to paint them. Hey Oli. Hello. What's up? It's okay. So what was your progress for this week? Well, uh, let me show you what I've been through during the week. As I told you uh, in the initial video, I will start with uh, Riptide. So I did. And basically, I assembled the whole thing. I'm still looking for... Uh, it doesn't look really assembled yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, it's actually assembled, but I, uh, I leave it like this bef because mainly I'm going to prime all the parts separately. Uh -huh. It's uh, much easier than uh, to assemble the already painted parts and uh, you can actually get in areas with your brush where you will be, be airbrushing right yeah there's of course most of that so uh this is what i've done uh, i already start with uh, broadside but uh, this is the the prime on wall to to finish this one first and it will be something like a uh, master sample for the rest of the eight mm -hmm. And that's why I would like to test some techniques on, on the biggest one. model yeah, that you have. It's very important for me to choose the really nice red color because I don't mm -hmm. like uh, anything uh, tending to brown or something. I, yeah, the the eight that was in the book. Yeah, it, it doesn't look that well, actually, no, right? No, no, no. So this this uh, I have to think over. Uh, what tone of red I will choose. For okay, do, do you have something in mind out of these? Uh, I would like to use some mixture of this one maybe. It's pretty dark uh, and uh, highlights and zenithal light something, something of course, something lighter. Okay. We'll see. Well, it looks to me that you are behind. Uh, will, you, will you build a thousand don't points? Don't worry, don't worry. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that in two, three weeks I will have all finished. So I will be pretty ahead of all other warlords. So And you have uh, the least models to paint, so yes. that's actually good for you. Okay, thanks okay. for your update. Great. And I'm immediately switching to the other warlord, Tomáš. Hello, Tomáš. Hi. What are you doing? finishing my gene stealers. Oh wow, man! This is much better progress than what we have seen from the other two guys so far. Okay, so these are the gene stealers. Yes. What is the... Uh, do, do you have a name for your clan or the... Uh, not yet. Mm -hmm. I haven't decided it yet, but... Uh, well, uh, in, the, in the initial video I said I would uh, make the aberrants first, but... Uh, this is my. This one was uh, like a prototype. Model? Yes. Okay. And so it, he was a gene stealer, so I decided to finish the 14 other gene stealers first. But as you can see, I already assembled the aberrants with the abominant as well. And they are next up. Okay. What did you do with these guys so far? Uh, so far, they were primed with uh, black spray and then. Uh, I chose one tone of green uh, and went over them with the Zenita light technique. Okay, uh, so you are progressing rapidly. Well, I hope do you so. have? Do you already have some ideas uh, about your um, list. list? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, something. We'll see. I I want to keep it secret for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Joseph. Let's switch the roles now <laughs> and show us what you've been through during the week. Okay, I'm a little behind. You can see that I'm working on Rubrikai right now. Um, they are like 50% built. Mm -hmm. I can show my exalted sorcerer, not, not the exalted sorcerer, the aspiring champion or aspiring sorcerer. Okay. Uh, that one is built. I didn't do any conversions. Um, I had a very busy week, so I didn't have a lot of time uh, to work on these. But uh, I have built and primed the HQs. So we have the sorcerers. 
these are from the the guys from one box mm -hmm. and you might recognize this guy okay i will not be looking for the hat this is arimana all right so he, he will not be leading the war band but uh, you know what kind of thousand sons, sons army would be complete without arimana so sure. that's it but one more thing this is what i got today from the mail i haven't opened the box it uh, came from uh, uk mm -hmm. some kind of treasure uh, games workshop no not really games workshop um, but i will show you what i got okay bubbles 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 okay mm -hmm. so i got three of these they said uh, these are the uh, oh they are okay i need to cut these as well so these are uh the demos pattern pattern rhinos from forge world okay and they will be carrying my rubrica into battle Oh, so you have a nice. regular uh, rhino chassis but on top of that uh, you will get these uh, upgrade kits upgrade kits exactly so three of these and then i got special doors mm -hmm. for thousand suns very nice uh, yeah so this kind this is for the horus heresy and this so... one yes with the scarabs yeah and these mm. you cannot see them but uh, i can i can switch to uh, this so this is this is a different uh, yeah different pattern so i have uh, rhinos like this already built for my death guard i want to do the same thing with uh, the thousand suns and i will show you my death guard rhinos just in a, in okay a then i got this so all oh, right i'm thinking about getting some of the uh the bigger um dreadnoughts not really okay. sure if, if they will be for my thousand sons maybe for my death guard we'll see and the last thing here should be yes this is it uh-huh 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 what's that well, Take a guess. Oh, what transfer sheets. Yeah. Wow. So these are special Thousand Suns transfer sheets. Wow. We all look forward to see the final effect of your army. Wow. Yeah. I also ordered the a new, not Black Ridge, how is it called? <laughs> Shadow Spear. Shadow Spear. Shadow Spear. Yeah, Spear yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there are so many new models for the chaos coming up. Yes. Uh, we've been waiting so long and now we have new marines, new obliterators. The Abaddon, he's so great. I need him. And I'm, I'm tempted like to switch from the Thousand Suns immediately to the Black Legion. But uh, I need to finish at least uh, one uh, battalion of Thousand Suns. Yeah. So I got one more box of the Rubrica. Well, you've got all necessary to build a really nice army out of this. Yeah. Okay. One one last thing. Uh, I will show the Death Guard Rhinos. All just, right. Just so that you have an idea how I will build the um, the Thousand Suns. Okay. Let's see that. All right. So these are my Death Guard Rhinos. Okay. Let's check that. Uh, two of them are the Deimos pattern. Mm -hmm. and one is the regular one but it does have the special doors yes, for the I see. 40k uh, and one of these one of these has uh, also the special doors really so nice really nice i also really love these vehicles um so the thousand suns of course will not be like damaged like this they will be spotless yeah, of course and shiny because Zeech is taking care of them, not Nurgle. All right, 
That is it, and I will see you in a week. Okay, Joseph, thank you.